In our last video, we looked at how to locate NASA Jedi granule for your study area and then we downloaded the corresponding H5 file and later subsetted those data. And everything was done using the R Jedi package in R. And today I'll be showing you how to perform all these operations directly from the Earth data website. And the best part here is that this will help you save a lot of time and storage space because you don't have to download the data beforehand. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, Heather, I'm Mikey and in this channel, I'll be uploading videos on spatial and data science on a daily basis. Hence, if you're into something related to GIS, remote sensing, machine learning or data analytics, consider subscribing. So open your favorite browser and let's go to the Earth Data website. I'll be including a link to this uh, in the description section just in case. As I had mentioned in my previous videos, you will have to create an account and login for downloading the space from LiDAR data. And once you are logged in, look for Jedi data. And in this case, we will be going ahead with the Jedi level 1B data. Now for downloading the Jedi data, obviously you need to enter your Jedi granule ID associated with your study area here. And for this, you will need to know the XY coordinates associated with your study area extent. For now, let's take the example from last time. So here we have a bounding box with uh, minimum and maximum values for latitudes and longitudes. Now we will try to locate the corresponding H5 file associated with it. You can perform this operation like how I had showed you last week using the R package or you can do it directly using the Jedi Finder tool. If you are interested in learning more about the specifics of these tools, you can find a link to the documentation in the description section and please leave me a comment if anything is unclear. So for locating the granule, all you need to do is to copy and paste this link. It's also included in the description section. And here you can change the products accordingly. For instance, now I'm searching for the level 1B data. So if you want level 2A or 2B, you can just change it here. Also, I'm including the coordinates of my bounding box here. Here the order is Y minimum, X minimum, Y max and X max. Note that the order is slightly different from what we did while we were working with R, so just be careful with it. And this might take a moment. Okay, now we have found all the Jedi granules associated with our study area. Notice that we got three granules here as opposed to just two in our last video. This is because in the previous video we had assigned a date range. So now as we have located our specific granule, all you need to do is subsetting. Now let's copy one of these granule IDs which is towards the end and paste it in the Earth Data website. So we have located the granule. Now select this granule and hit download all button. This might take a moment. Now choose the customize option. Scroll down and under the spatial subsetting, check the box near the click to enable. And here enter the XY coordinates of the bounding box. But be careful, the order of XY coordinates are different here. Here the order is Y max, X minimum, X max and Y minimum. Make sure to enter this information correctly or you might get error here. You can also do a temporal subsetting if you wish but for this tutorial it don't make real sense because we are just considering only one Jedi granule. If you have a lot of Jedi granule you can maybe use a temporal subsetting to make sure that you are having only the granule for your particular time period. Also you can filter based on the bands. If you are interested in knowing what these bands correspond to please check my previous video I'll be attaching a link to it in the description section. Now press done and then download the data. You can view your download status here. However, you will also receive an email once the data is ready to download. And if you had selected multiple files, you will be prodded with a zip file. 
For learning how to read and visualize this file, check out my previous video whose link is also attached in the description section. Maybe I'll also include an info bar here. If you're having any doubts regarding the things I have mentioned till now, please leave me a comment and also you might want to check my later remote sensing playlist where I explain all of these functions one step at a time. So that's all for now. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to subset the downloaded data using Shapefile. So stay tuned and also if you're finding value watching my videos, please make sure to hit that like button. Till next time, ciao!